This is a Nightline Friday Night Special. It's passionate. It's heart-wrenching. If they keep winning, I will have a chance to come back. It's fanatical. We've got some people that never miss a practice. All black and dogs! All black and dogs! It's Berwick High School football. In a Pennsylvania town you might not think has much to cheer about. Tonight, the conclusion of a season with the Berwick Bulldogs. Dog days, a town and a team. This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. Back in late October, we did a program on one of the best high school football teams in the country, which is all the more remarkable in that Berwick, Pennsylvania is a town of only 11,000 people. Berwick has had some rough economic times, and its biggest industry, which flourished during and just after World War II, has effectively closed down. Those were a few of the points I made about Berwick in October. The rest of the program was mostly about the football team and how it has become the focus of the town's pride. Well, since that broadcast, I've heard from the Greater Berwick Chamber of Business and Industry, the Berwick Industrial Development Association, and the Greater Berwick Corporation, whose slogan is, Proud Past, Bright Future. They did not appreciate the suggestion that Berwick is effectively dead or dying. It's not, of course, but it is struggling, and privately, many of you told us that. The fact is that your bulldogs are a tremendous source of civic pride, and to be perfectly honest, they are what brought us to Berwick in the first place. Indeed, we're back tonight to see how they finished out the season. When last we visited, the Bulldogs were 9-0, and but their starting quarterback, Dante Pecorelli, had been injured, broken collarbone. This would be, we thought, his last high school football game. It's now December 4th. The Bulldogs are 13-0. continues to fall here at Lackawanna County Stadium as Berwick and Allentown Central Catholic get set to decide the Eastern Pennsylvania Football Championship. We're not supposed to be here. The season's supposed to be over. These kids didn't believe it. It's going to be tough to beat us. Whoever does, if they do, they're going to just have to be a much superior football team. Because they're not going to beat us on heart, I'll tell you that. They're not going to beat us on heart. They are the boys from Berwick, a town legendary for its many football wins in recent years and its one big loss in years gone by. Its largest industry is the American Car and Foundry Company, which has operated a railroad car building plant there since 1899. Now ACF has announced that it must close the Berwick plant. Forty percent of Berwick's industrial employment is at ACF, representing fully half of the community's total buying power. When you look at that whole complex, uh, it's kind of really sad, the way it used to be. But we overcame that. Not as, you know, people didn't make the money that, that they made with ACNF, but everybody acclimated. It's a town small enough so that the mayor is also... This is Luda Senior High School. ...the head truant officer. The young people will do some very foolish things, you know, like uh, they were all at Briar Creek Lake just laying out in the sun, and my daughter was one of them, so I pulled up, and I got out, took my blanket out, walked over right amongst all of them, and then some of them started looking. I laid my blanket down, and I laid on the blanket, and I said, I think we might as well all enjoy this afternoon together, you know? And uh, it was kind of funny, you know, and, until they all got home. <laughs> Most everyone knows everyone here, there are a few pretensions. The town, like many across America, is struggling. The townspeople survive mostly on minimum wage jobs, like those at the Wise Potato Chip Factory. But they thrive on football. There's something special about Berwick football. I don't know what it is, but there's something special. All the people are there. I mean, there are people who've had the same seats in these games for 
20 years. The children that I grew up with, it's their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren now are playing. So, you know, it's generation after generation. Spanning those generations, the team's general manager, the cat, a water boy on the 1927 team. His only regret? I would start sooner. I started when I was seven. I should have started when I was five. <laughs> but ask anybody in town why the Berwick Bulldogs are so successful, and you'll hear only one name, Coach George Curry. So you guys have to think and communicate on that. All right. Make your call. He and this town are just a perfect fit. I mean, just perfect fit. And I have never met anyone who likes their job as much as George Kerr. He absolutely loves it. Good cut. Good cut, Jeremy. Had a boy, Stokes. One year before the season started, he said, yeah, I told the kids that anyone who shows up here at the stadium before I do, the morning of the first practice, uh, I'll run five miles. You know, I said, well, geez, are you in shape to run five miles? He's I won't have to. I said, why is that? He said, uh, well, I'm sleeping over at the field house. We've had tons of youngsters through this football program got out of this small town. And, and it's a small blue-collar town. And it's, it, it's uh, you know, the unemployment situation isn't very good, uh, you know, isn't the best. But uh, the employment situation isn't the best. But football's open doors for them. And I feel great about that. A starting position at Berwick is not who you know. This is strictly, you know, how well you can do it and how hard you work. And, and that's, from that standpoint, that's, that's refreshing. A starting position for number seven came suddenly after quarterback Dante Peccarelli was injured. Dave Robinson, the sophomore quarterback filling in for Peccarelli, did a nice job in that third quarter on Berwick's second possession. Robinson directed a six-play, 44-yard scoring drive. Hey, I want to tell you this, man. You sucked it up in the second half. You sucked it up in the second half. Now, we had some adversity out there today. Okay, we lost our quarterback. But I'll tell you what, Dave Robbins, you did a heck of a job, young man. Did it for us today. Did it for us today. When they gave for us, sophomore, when they gave for us. Everybody seemed to know me. I mean, everyone was talking to me. Everyone was asking me questions. And it was, it was kind of weird, really. Dante was far from the celebration. He's probably done for the rest of the year. You know, there's no tomorrow. You know, there's no next year for that kid. So we just have to go from here as a team. You know, and. What's the guys will suck it up now? They suck it up. Yeah, we're we're gonna, gonna, from here. I saw him a little while after the game. Three of the other players had come up to the hospital also to see him. One of them walked in and said, Dan, you're ahead of schedule. You broke this one two weeks before you broke the other one last year. And Dan kind of perked right up and said, yes. He said, I'll be back. I'll be back this year. Me and my mom sat down a lot and talked about it. And, you know, she wasn't sure and I wasn't sure if I was going to play anymore this season. But it's what I want and what she wants, so I think I'm going to do it for her and me, mostly. My oldest son stopped in the gas station. He was looking at the newspaper, and he seen his picture, and then he seen Dan's name on the picture. Well, he couldn't believe it. And I thought, boy, that is really something. You know, it says in this paper, too, that it goes to uh, all the colleges. Every Bulldog win extends the season. Another week to heal. A chance to win the state championship. A chance to play in one last high school game. The waiting has never been harder. This is ABC News Nightline. Brought to you by Charles Schwab and Company. The whole idea of saving for retirement is to get ahead. But if your IRA has annual fees and mutual fund sales charges, it can set you back from the start. To make all your money work for you, put it into a Schwab no annual fee IRA. You can choose from over 200 no-load mutual funds and pay no sales charges. And this performance guide is yours free when you open an account. So to make all your IRA money work for you, maybe it's time to come to Schwab. It's about an hour each way. 
but somehow in my Taurus, I don't mind. I've never liked storms. Now I don't really notice them much. It seems like everything's getting more streamlined. Wish I could say the same for myself. For so many people, for so many reasons, Ford Taurus, the best-selling car in America. Sunday on Brinkley, a new defense secretary is named. The first shuffle in the Clinton cabinet. Can we expect more? White House Chief of Staff Mac McClarty, Sunday. Freddie translated. My associate said, if you speak a language other than English and you're an MCI customer, your operator, your calling cards, and even voice instructions are in your language. The lowest price international call to any two numbers just about anywhere are with MCI. Now, when you join MCI and friends around the world, you get $35 of free calling and the lowest price call to any two numbers worldwide. And that's a great deal in any language. A pessimist would say this is half empty. An optimist would say half full. But what would a baby say? Every day, babies are born into hunger in the Delaware Valley. Now you can lend a hand. Join the Channel 6 Boy Scouts Holiday Food Drive by donating baby formula at the following locations. Your local Acme, Toys R Us, your neighborhood Roy Rogers, any Strawbridge and Clothier, or Mellon PSFS or Mellon Bank Delaware. They may be too young to ask, but they're hungry for your help. Next. Ready? The other way, Jay. Jay, hurry up. Go. If you thought football was the only sport in Berwick, you'd be wrong. But you wouldn't be alone. Go. Few realize that the Berwick soccer team is conference champion. Yeah, football's a four-letter word around here. Why is that? I don't know. Everyone puts so much hype on them, we don't get any coverage. It's about time we get some recognition. It's God. Football's God. I don't see a lot of animosity. Everybody reads for everybody else. Is that the politically correct answer or the real answer? <laughs> I think for the most part it's, it's true. The secret of all that hype? Coach Curry calls it the program. The other way! The other way! <laughs> hey! Go! Most boys in Berwick dream of playing for the Bulldogs. We're awesome! We're good. Yeah, they win all the time. <laughs> I have 207 youngsters in uniform from 8th grade to 12th grade. And heck, we only graduate 170. You know, we're not a big school, but we get over 200 kids out every year. And that doesn't count our, our youth programs. I mean, it's a program. And they got a good football team. Let's forget everything else except this fact. He makes the kids respect the opponent. Sometimes uh, he may exaggerate a little bit on the opponent's uh, abilities, but uh, he makes them respect the opponent. I caught him uh, was it last year. They were playing someone that had a, a very bad record. And I thought, boy, this is going to be a challenge for him this week to, to say something great about this team. And uh, he, he came out with something to the effect that uh, there are bad teams and there are poor teams, but this is not a poor bad team. When his team makes mistakes, he's not quite as charitable. Who, who called that play? Who called that play? It's a goddamn split in reverse! B.J. Hayes, who's a starting uh, cornerback, was injured early this season. So it was his first full week of practice, and B.J. did something wrong. And George jumped all over his case. And so he just like, kicks him out of the lineup for, for the moment. And B.J.'s over on the sidelines, and he's standing next to uh, John Pruitt, one of the assistant coaches. And he just looks at John, and he says, boy, it feels so good to be yelled at again. It's been four weeks since Piccarelli's injury. The Bulldogs are still undefeated. A win against the Shimokan Indians today would make the Bulldogs conference champion. A win today, and Dan will play at least as a receiver. Tensions are hot. I can recall a game of some years ago where a fight broke out in the field and immediately the whole opposing team was out in the field. 
but there are only 11 Berwick kids out there because George turned and said, stay, and you know, they stayed. It's great. It's fun to see this much enthusiasm over high school football without all the commercialism in, in college and, and pros now. Good, healthy football, clean football. We want to see old doggies win. This is like a big holiday, Christmas yeah. holiday, when families get together. You know, you might argue with somebody all through the rest of the year, but on holidays you're together, and that's just what it seems. A family where everyone has a role to play, like Dave Garrison. I'm the siren man. It's a uh, fire truck siren with 12-volt battery. I carry it 18 years, and I've been carrying it. Jake Kelschner, a former Berwick quarterback, is now a starting quarterback at West Virginia. And Dave and a couple Berwick people went down to see the game, and Dave smuggled the uh, siren into West Virginia Stadium. And he said, Jake scores a touchdown, and he, he gets the siren going, and he said, Jake kind of looked up like <laughs> nostalgia time. Less than a minute to go. No timeouts remaining. Berwick is leading 14-7, to but Shemokin has the ball. If a game can be boiled down to one crucial moment, this is it. Jamokin in desperate straight. The pitches are Richie. He's going to throw the football back to Stamets. It hangs up in the air. B.J. Hayes takes over the 15. And B.J. Hayes down to the three-yard line. The state playoffs are just around the corner. This simple outside says inside you find a lasting commitment to performance. The Intel 486DX2 processor. Power for today's hottest software. And the Intel Pentium processor. For the next generation of compatible power. That's Intel, the computer inside. says he'll raise Russia from its knees. Who is this man? You'll meet him on day one, Monday at 8, 7 Central. This is your moment to be beautiful. Beautiful from Estee Lauder. Now a beautiful gift idea. Beautiful perfume spray. Starlit pink lipstick and a charming tasseled bag. Yours for just $35. This special offer is exclusively at all John Wanamaker's stores. Over 1.5 million vacationers toured the canals of Venice last year. Not one of them, however, was a Lexus engineer. Why? Let's just say they were busy. The 1994 Lexus ES, improved, revised, refined, in a word, new. AT&T just announced to the world that they will, quote, move gracefully away from the iPlan. Well, this is an invitation from MCI to all AT&T iPlan customers. Move gracefully yourself right now to MCI and the savings that MCI delivers. start you off with $20 worth of free long distance. Everybody make contact with your good field position right off the bat. By your head. What a matchup we have here today. Berwick at 13-0, Allentown Central Catholic at 12-0. 
A lot of people around the state feel that uh, this is the state championship game right here. Whichever team wins this ball game this afternoon should go on to beat uh, the team from the West. When I was about seven or eight is when I really started going to the Burrick games and watching them and wanting to be out there and playing. Sometimes I don't even think it's like real yet, you know? We should note that Pecorelli is back in the lineup and he is starting at a wide out. Robbins goes for Pecorelli right away. The second completion. This is his last chance, you know. So he's out there. He's doing, you know, what he wants to do. The effort is there. It's the uh, Mike Kaufman, you know, the 170 pound nose guard, and Ryan Wolf, the 180 pound tackle. Uh, people that are a little, you would think, undersized for their positions. This is their time to shine. Cramsey to throw. Cramsey is sacked. There's Kaufman. Kaufman, the nose guard. Look at this kid, 5'9". He's listed at 180, but there's no way he's 180 pounds. He's more like 165. He's, he's 180 soaking wet with his uniform on. But the Bulldogs' sacks couldn't keep Allentown from scoring in the first half. John, this is something that Berwick did not want to give Allentown Central Catholic early on, and that is momentum. As they walk to their underground locker room, the playing field in Berwick seems a long way off. Some people get them in a history class, some get them in an in a, in a algebra class. Here's my classroom, this, this field. I get them walking in these doors. I see them in the heat of battle. I see them crying. I see them happy, cheering, smiling. So when that becomes no fun anymore, then I, I get out of it. Because I've had great experiences in this game, and I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to remember it any other way. I don't know what I do. <laughs> I don't, I've never done anything else, but I guess I would uh, be a grandfather, be a full-time grandpa. He's going to stay until he's a broken-down old man. Yeah, <laughs> he's not. He's not going nowhere. He's. He's strictly football to his, to his last days. And how about you? It's time to be right with him. He goes, the cat goes. He stays, the cat stays. Now, we, uh, I idolize the man. Hey, come on! Use your head! I love these kids. So they know that, okay? You almost got me on that! When it comes time for someone to go to bat for those youngsters, and, and the season's over, I even work harder for those kids. Let's show you what we saw a couple of seconds ago. Robbins is complaining of a stiff back. They worked on him here at the sidelines. We'll see what happens. What few in the stands realize is how difficult it's been to keep the team together. Eight players have been visiting the clinic. A day. Well, there's uh, the Burwick Towel Man trying to get the uh, crowd pumped up here. And uh, Berwick has a towel man? Yeah, they've got all kinds of men that uh, <laughs> try to get the crowd going. To get the siren men's been quiet here this afternoon. The siren man wasn't allowed to bring his siren into the stadium. Let's go! But there haven't been many opportunities to use it anyway. You know, I was watching the faces of the Berwick players. They are more concerned, more trouble than I've ever seen them. After holding the lead briefly in the third quarter, the Bulldogs couldn't rally long enough to stay there. Robbins rolls right and throws. Incomplete. Central Catholic takes over on downs. And there you see the celebration for Central Catholic. They have ended Berwick's 28-game winning streak. It's right now, man. I don't want one guy to walk out of here. Put your head down. We're proud of you. We're, we're extremely proud of you. I know we're on your ass all year. Hey, what the hell? You know, we, that's the way we coach. Hey, we got, we got away from this. In your lifetime, things are going to get away from you. You know, you know the mark of a, of, a, of a winner? You bounce back. Okay, you learn something from this darn thing. You bounce back. I'm sure the plays that weren't made will be talked about forever, but I don't want our kids to dwell on that. Yeah. My big job right now is to get these youngsters to realize that, hey, it's a game. It's only a game. For the first time in 28 games, the dog's locker room back in Berwick is quiet. Uh, there's another saying that says, uh, 
Winning shows something of a man's character. Losing shows all of it. In the long run, we're going to be better for it. We've got to start all over again. We'll be back with a final note in a moment.